Why does the Knees Over Toes Guide program work or appropriate physical therapy programs? Essentially, it comes down to excessive loading on the knee tendons, patellar tendon, quad tendon. They make up about 40% of the power for you to do a maximal jump. And then when we land, that same patellar tendon takes about 6.5 times of your body weight to absorb the force. How many times do you jump in a game or practice? A lot. Add that all up and cumulatively, you have yourself the recipe for tendonitis. One of the best ways to know if you have patellar tendonitis or knee tendonitis is to extend your knee and poke as hard as you can on that area of the tendon where you have most pain and then flex your knee to 90 degrees, poke on that same spot. If it's less, that's a positive test and most likely you're dealing with a case of knee tendonitis. What are we gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna review three different research back tendon loading protocols. The first is a decline squat eccentric protocol. So you wanna use a 25 degree slant board. I have this one that I picked up on Amazon. I prefer this one from the tip bar guys. As you can see, it's much wider. They're both at that 25 degree slant that they use in the literature. I like this because I can get both feet on it and I can do a variety of different widths. You can get both on here, but you're kind of restricted to that narrow length. So you're just gonna get on that slant board with one leg and then we want this to be eccentric only so that's the lowering part of the exercise so i get myself where my toes even with the base and then i squat down and then i use my other foot back on the board to push me up this protocol is to be done for three sets of 15 two times a day you increase the speed as you're able they don't really talk about the exact speed progression in the studies but you do want to try to get to about 90 degrees and then back up using that other leg. Squat down to 90 degrees, we're here, back up. Okay, and then you'll go through both legs. If you have problems on both legs, start with your body weight and then add five kgs or about 10 or 11 pounds once you can do all three sets of 15 without having pain. This protocol is six seconds per repetition, three seconds on the way down, three seconds on the way up, or eccentric and concentric phases of the lift. Both moderate loads and heavy loads have been studied. It seems to be more important that the volume is matched than the load being heavier or more moderate. Your first week, you're gonna do 15 repetitions, then weeks two through three, go to 12 repetitions, then weeks four through five, you try to do 10 repetitions at your 10 repetition max. Week six to eight, do eight repetitions at your eight repetition max. And weeks nine through 12, you're gonna do six repetitions at your six repetition max. That would be the heavy load, slow resistance training, Moderate load, you just take 55% of your 1RM and just match the volume. The problem with these protocols is they take an extraordinary amount of time and most people are looking to get better as quickly as possible, which brings us to the last protocol that I recommend most people start with because it's the least time commitment and can often produce significant results. The isometric knee tendon protocol requires you to do the exercise four times a week. You're gonna do five sets for a 45 second hold with the knee at 60 degrees you wanna be pushing out at about 80% of your max. So you try to figure out as much as you could possibly pull and then throttle that back just a little bit, but then you need to be able to hold that for 45 seconds. Some studies have shown less of a hold. In the research, they actually show the person how much force they're putting out, but I find that just loading the tendon to a pretty significant level will get the job done. Okay, 45 seconds through a tolerable amount of discomfort should not be intolerable. Keep it about three or less, and then take a rest Give yourself about a minute of rest and then go on to your next set. If you don't have access to a knee extension machine, you can get yourself into an isometric lunge about that 60 degree position. Leg back, leg forward, hold that for 45 seconds. If these are too long for you to tolerate, just do a tolerable hold, even if it's 15 seconds, and just build up as the sessions go throughout the week. If that's too painful, you can do the Spanish squat position and hold for 60 degrees. The forward pull of the band or a strap or belt will offload the tendon, making it a little bit more tolerable. Tendons respond to load because it increases collagen production. Knees over toe programs and other programs like it do really well because they expose your tendons and ligaments to load through full ranges of motion. If that doesn't work for you, just pick something else like I showed in today's video. To watch a complete review of Knees Over Toes Guy program, click up here. To watch a video about Spanish squat, click up here. Keep it moving.